Hello, everyone. I want to thank those of you that sent in your riff of the week. You can check it out at the end of this announcement. It's really cool. This week, we need your jokes for our joke of the week, for next week. You know, it could be a musical joke or not. It could be something like, hey, did you hear what the tuba player said to his friend? He said, hey, did you hear my last recital? And his friend said, I hope so. We just finished our second week of rehearsing. Some bands have already recorded some tunes. It's really cool. It's looking like we'll be able to have an outdoor social distancing rehearsal for each band. We might call it Jazz in the Alley. A couple of things about this session. I wanted to let you know. We're having all the musicians practice with a tuner and a metronome. These are important tools for every musician to have and feel comfortable with. When I was in college, we all used metronomes. So one day my friend calls me up and says, hey, can I borrow your metronome? And I said, sure, what happened to yours? And he said, it broke. And I said, well, how did it break? And he said, I threw it against the wall. So I didn't loan him my metronome, but I want you to know can, to, or, to, or to consider your metronome as, you know, that friend that you have that always tells you the truth, whether you're slowing down or speeding up, things like that. And the same thing with the tuner. They can be your friends. Um, all right. And continuing with our Jazz Legacy program featuring Illinois Jacquette, one of the bands is playing Port of Rico. It's a really cool tune and we'll provide you a link um, at the end of this announcement too. Okay. Next week, I'll be able to confirm our gigs and uh, we'll also have a date for an open mic. Um, for a second, I wanna talk about Art Tatum. He was blind in one eye and could barely see in the other. He is called the greatest jazz piano player that ever lived. He was born in Toledo, Ohio to a musical family and mostly self-taught. What, what really set Tatum apart from all the other piano players was his amazing technical abilities that uh, produced these really cool rhythms and harmonic complexities. He also had really good ears. They say you could hear, they say that he could hear the sound of coins dropping like on a kitchen counter. And just by the sound the coins made bouncing off the counter, he could tell you how much money there was. Believe it or not. Click in the corner of the video or check in the description to below to uh, links for our recommended YouTubes this week featuring Port of Rico from uh, Illinois Jacquette 1952 and see if you can figure out who the organ player is on that one. And um, also Art Tatum playing yesterday's. Have a safe July 4th and we will see you next week. Thanks.